What is going on? It's your boy Warner Brother, and we're back with some more Need for Speed No Limits episode 154. For some more of the daily grind, more PvPs, more tuner tries, more car series, maybe some campaign replayables, and definitely some car tuning. Now, let's get into it. Let's go ahead and grab our gold, our race skips, and the first of five free upgrade crates to get things started. Also, I checked my analytics. I've noticed that 85% of all my viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So do me a huge favor. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell notification. So you can be updated whenever I release new content. Let's go ahead and check out some materials, eh? Motor mechanism. Oh! Two more for the McLaren speed tail. And the speed tail should be speeding on down. Also need those. And we are going to go ahead and grab a transmission kit, apparently. Also, I did want to mention, um, I'm going to plan on building a, or excuse me, setting up a, um, I'm going to be setting up a playlist of just dope songs that I like for the channel. Hopefully, I can. Uh, when I, well, I'm going to be implementing it around episode 200 or after episode 200. Uh, hopefully, and I want some suggestions from y'all. Uh, I'll come up with a poll or not a poll. I come up with a post uh, on YouTube just to get your opinion. Uh, you know, what song should I add to this playlist? I'm titling it the Drifting and Racing playlist. Um. Just so that, you know, I have some really dope tracks that could uh, be applied for racing. Looking for some really, really kick-ass stuff, you know. Oh my god, that is expensive. And just as expensive to rebuild it. So we don't have the money to do that currently. And I kind of did miss out on um, some, um, you know, I missed out on some um, uh, racing. That I wasn't supposed to miss out on, but I ended up missing out on it. Not on purpose. It's just, I just got sidetracked, if anything. However, we still have some stuff here to rebuild wait a minute was it one of these muscle cars to rebuild one of them I'm not sure which ones and also we are going to be celebrating of course um, women's history month that's going on literally all month long Uh, and we're celebrating it using these, um, I can't talk for some reason. We're celebrating it using these cars that have, uh, all my black cars have the International Women's Day 2023 wrap, uh, which, for example, I'll show you. Let's go over to the hypercar category. This Pug Pugani Waira has this amazing International Women's Day wrap in desert camo colors. Looks good. Also had uh, someone in my comment section liking the music that I've used for uh, my most recent short with the uh, International Women's Day wrap. I will be using the same song for those shorts just to let you know. And I believe the song is Sunflower by Sway Lee and Post Malone. I will continue to be using Sunflower by Sway Lee and Post Malone. Nostradam. But again, 
I, I do want suggestions uh, as to what other songs I should be adding to this drifting and racing playlist. Because hopefully, by episode 200, I have a nice playlist set up. And I'll be able to use it. Uh, and I might have, be able to figure out a way to use this songs whether they're royalty free or otherwise and not be copywritten oh this is gonna be beneficial oh my goodness Ooh, I was starting to catch the jet, but the jet was so far forward, so far ahead, I couldn't catch it. But there goes another jet. All right, let's see if we can make it into E tier in the breakneck division. That would be very beneficial, to be honest with you. And something I would love to do. So, this might be easier said than done here. Considering the performance of the M4 currently, it's not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. Oh, yeah, I've actually driven an M4 before, and it's actually not a bad car. I do like it. Too soon, Junior. Damn. Getting dusted. See what I mean by easier said than done? I'm just getting slapped up around here, man. Like, I had no chance of catching him. It's just my performance isn't good enough. So, I'm really going to be struggling here. Two up, two down, and we got one win, one loss. So, let's see if we can be Frederick Gill here. Honestly, if we lose, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. No, I'm kind of disappointed. I am going to be disappointed. Across the line. That time was a lot better. Wouldn't have got me the win in the last race, but it's a lot better. Seven tenths faster. Okay. Fingers crossed we can actually get this win here. We might be able to. I think this is the one with the um, nitrous uh, nitro ships. It is. Okay, good. That's a clean BMW M4. I like it. I'm not, I'm not too much of a fan of white cars, but it looks good. Okay. All right. Okay. No, nope, that's not going to help. He he lost it. Oh, 
Oh, he's right there. He's right there. He's right there. He's right there. Oh, my goodness. Oh, would you look at that? Two tenths of a second. Two hundredths of a second. Sorry. Oh, my goodness. That was difficult to say the least. Huh. We're not getting past E2 here in the breakneck division. I'm gonna let y'all know that right now. I'm laughing because, oh my goodness, we, we know it's, it's, you know, it's not gonna happen. We're, we're not gonna get past E tier here. I'm just gonna let y'all know that right now. How many races I got? Okay. Just honestly for just the laughs and the memes, by the way, feel free to meme any of my content. I really don't care. Because <laughs> uh, honestly, it's good exposure for me. So yeah, feel free to troll. I don't. I really don't care. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this race instantaneously. But I've noticed, wow, goodness gracious. Oh boy. Wow, we actually won that. I did not think we would win that. That did not seem like a winnable race, but it seems like he made quite a few mistakes. And we just capitalized. Honestly, I'm proud of that one. I am very proud of that one. All right, that's five underground rival races taken care of. Let's hop out of the PVPs and hop into here. Grab the second of five free crates. And a connector! That's an important material right there. So let's hop into the garage. We still have a rebuild to do, plus a couple of more. Uh, at least one rebuild, and then... Let's see. No, not muscle. Classic sports. Let's go to you. Back to the Arc 7. We do have another add on here ECU mechanism. Very nice. And there's the materials. And then Nitro Rebuild. All right. Another nitro mechanism, and then a nitro component. So you got a nice 670, because this RX-7 still has some more work to do to it. As far as any other car, currently uh, we're broke, so I'm not worried about doing much of anything else for now but we have ecu materials to acquire so let's hop into uncommon Ah, uh, yes, here we go. Let's do this without nitrous, shall we? Knowing that we can anyways. the line 
Was that a sub 26 second run without nitrous? It was. Wow. I'm kind of impressed. I managed to do a sub 26 second run without nitrous. Damn. That's, that's honestly not bad. That's honestly not bad. I was not expecting that. Hmm. Might as well do this one down night just too, right? Oh no. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. That was close. Ooh, she tried to block me off. That wasn't going to happen this time. Ooh, under 30 and a half seconds. Very nice. I like it. All right, that's the two tuner trials taken care of. So let's hop out of there and uh, hop out of there and hop back into here. And let's do car series. Well, we are flying through these. All right, back to blacklisted. I did want to check out good old days. Just see how many races per chapter. Okay, so five races per chapter. Blueprints for the Aston Martin DB5 for completing good old days. Okay. Of course, we still have one, two, three, four, five car series that we haven't even started yet. So we have an airborne, a rush hour, and a time trial. Just to get things going. Another, that's the third race in a row that we've done in Blacklisted where we have one Hoonicorn and two Sylvias that we're racing against. It's interesting, to say the least. Oh shit. Wasn't trying to rear and can block there. Whoa. Oops, didn't see that coming. I should have seen it coming, but I didn't. Cross the line. Pretty decent time, actually. I'm the only one under a minute. That's a little bit of a surprise. Just a wee bit of a surprise. Ten minute miss, and that is nine assignments complete in under twenty minutes. Not the first time I did in under twenty minutes, and not the fastest I've done it in under twenty minutes. I believe the fastest was just under sixteen or just under fifteen minutes. One, it's one of the two. One of those two. But I know I did it relatively quick. So another M3, a Hoonicorn, and a Sylvia this time.
This thing holds drifts pretty well. Under 35 seconds. The only one under 35 and under 40 seconds. Smashing through a lot of these races. Time trial. Let's go ahead and get that transmission scanner and the 40 gold that comes along with it. Here we go. More than 10 seconds left on the clock with all that hopping around. Ooh, win 20 races in the M3 DTR. We get Pixel Camo Tier 1. Very nice. Transmission scanner. And we're making really good progress. Rush hour, airborne, rush hour, nitro rush. Oh, we are so close. 788. And I believe I'm sitting at a 784 for this car. Classic sports. M3 GTR, yes, 784. So basically, I had to match the R34, which isn't going to be hard. I think this is a rebuild, by the way. It is. I'm not going to rebuild it just yet. Mostly because I want to rebuild this engine. I need two of those connectors. Okay. Chapter 1, Event 3, Chapter 3, Showed on Daisuke, against Suki, it's Edge, okay, what is this? Pursuit Legend. Hmm. What is this Chapter 15 Pursuit Legend thing? Let's go ahead and grab the third free crate of the day real quick. Pursuit Legend, what is this? Ooh, more scrap. I like it. Okay. So, campaign. Chapter 15. So that's uh, during the... Blake. Pursuit Legends. Ah! This race... Oh, okay. And I do be forgetting, in some of these events right here, you have to beat a vault event in order to unlock, and, and I'd be forgetting about some of these. So I think... I think the first ones you'll deal with... No, not here. Probably Ivy. Oh no, it's it with the Renegades. Okay. So Fast Lane, Ford, Shelby GT500 Special Event. So I complete that one and then I can unlock that race. 
And a lot of these um, races that you see right here, let's say, for example, if you were to go through the campaign and let's say you're with Jackson and you complete race number five or, or you just started this chapter, you can complete this race after you complete Zero to Hero with the Mazda MX-5. And then you can skip the first five races and go straight to race six. And, you know, so, so like a uh, shortcut nerd to get to the next boss, you know. So, cool little feature that they built into some of the races. Not all of them, but some of them. So, just for giggles, let's check out the store. Obviously, we're not going to get anything in the store. Because I kind of don't want to. I'm kind of broke. Um... Though that seems promising. I would, probably, but probably not. Also, <laughs> I would get this, but I know I don't need it. Uh, again. Because, actually, I would get it just to get the blueprints and to scrap it. Which would be very beneficial. But, uh, no, not going to get it. Mostly because I don't need it. But one thing we can do right now, hop back into the PVPs. Let's get some more racing in uh, um, to get back into the game. So we're in C tier in the driver division. We're in D tier in the speedster division. And we're in E tier in the breakneck division. So let's keep going. Let's see if we can get some money or some blueprints. Going up against Juanito. That's very neato, if you think. Uh, we have another sleeper. God, I, I don't like sleeper cars. I kind of don't. Unless it's a sleeper from the factory. It'd be different if someone built a sleeper. Then I'd be like, ah, oh, hell no. But if it's a factory sleeper, I'm for it. Three, two, one. Oh my god! I jumped over that roadblock! Ouch! Oh my god! What the hell was that? Goodness gracious! I lost a lot of speed from crashing into that roadblock. And unfortunately there's not a gap towards the wall to where I could squeeze in there to try and avoid it. But oh my goodness, that was kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. just bing yay! <laughs> oh my goodness, that was kind of funny. A beetle, a beetle, Jeru. Now that was kind of funny. I ain't gonna lie to you. Ooh, clean looking M3. Kind of basic with the body kit, and I don't mean that in a bad way. Oh, wow, I completely missed the nitro ship there. That's not gonna help. Well, never mind, considering that I just left the other guy back in the dust back there. Woohoo! Oh Jesus! Oh Jesus! Well, I was supposed to hit the nitro strip there at the end, but uh, it's fine. Still, set a new person to bet, and almost beat them by uh, beat them by over nine seconds. Okay, that's quite nice. Am I quite nice? I mean, quite quick. Terracon. Ooh, that's clean. I like that. Ooh, Terracon. 
you have, sir or ma'am have a very nice M3, and I dig it. I love the I like the, I like the uh, the dual colors. You even got the wing to match. We basically got the same body kit with wing. That's nice. You know what? Freaking 9.3 out of 10. I am digging it. Mostly for like the simplistic colors, you know. Nice contrast of colors kept in the matte orange with the black racing stripes. I dig it. It screams race car. And I'm here for it. Though, uh, one thing I do recommend, get your performance up, though. You know, get your performance up so it can match that race car aesthetic that you have. But other than that, you should have a proper race build. I like it. Under 50 seconds, that was good. Not a personal best, because that was set by that Hennessy Venom F5, I think. Or, definitely a faster car than this, but... That is a very nice ride, though. NSSKL. Here we go. Ooh, another very clean M3. Kept it black. If simple body kit. It's nice. Fantastic start off the line. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That wasn't clean. <laughs> that was not clean. That was a very dirty run. We still won, but oh my goodness, that's not gonna help. That's not gonna help when I have to go up against faster cars. I, I got lucky because basically I'm paired up with a driver and a car that doesn't quite match. But it's... Well, the driver matches, I'm quite sure. It's just his car. Damn, yeah. And that's not me roasting him. That's me being honest. Boy, oh boy. We are just flying through these races, though. Uh, no, not Speedster. Let's hop into Breakneck. I know. I know. I shouldn't be doing it. Because I know how badly I'm going to probably lose. Another... Bone stock M4. Uh, change the wheels or something. Come on, man. Well, that helped. He made he made a crucial mistake there. Wow. Again, I was not expecting a win here. I was expecting a loss. 
That was completely unexpected. The fact that I won that is shocking. Not gonna lie. 100%. That is a shock. That is a shock win. Of course, it shows that the less mistakes you make, the better your chances are of winning, regardless of your car's performance or your driver ability. Clean looking Mustang. I wouldn't put the roof scoop on it, but still, clean Mustang. A fantastic start. I just realized something. In all three divisions, I have German cars. Just two of them are BMWs, the other ones are Mercedes. Of course, the fastest out of all three is this Mercedes. And across the line. Alright, we will hop back into this because I still have four more races to do, but I have noticed the time on my uh, recording, and it's time to go ahead and grab the fourth free upgrade crate of the day. And bust that open. Ooh, blueprint for the Aventador. That's very nice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hopping back out of there and back into the PVPs. And back into the Speedster Division. And I'm going to keep it real with you because I'm going to do another race in the Breakneck Division. More than likely, I'm definitely going to lose. Hunky Kremlin. Okay. Well, hopefully, for your sake, you don't drive a gremlin. No, you don't. You drive a Mustang. A bone stock Mustang. At least bone stock on the outside. And I'm disappointed. Still, a, at least good starts going from this car. Smoking the train. Smoking another train. Smoking another train. Cross the line. Flying. Absolutely flying. Penguin Aditivo, Aditivo, however you pronounce that. Ooh, now that's a Mustang, but uh, you have the demonic rap. I am going to have to take you down now. Oh, but you're giving me a good run for my money so far with that start. Sticking with me, too. Well, 
Oh, he was sticking with me and now he's gone. Gone in the rear view mirrors. I don't even see the headlights anymore. Oh my goodness, that was fast. Ooh, still a 707 in performance though. So definitely giving me some some challenge there. I appreciate a good challenge. That's one thing I do like. Even though that challenge was kind of... Oh my god. Dominic Toretto. We meet again. But you're driving the wrong car. I'm going to let you know that right now. Ken Block's not going to be happy about that. Just to let you know. Ken Block's not going to be happy about that. And for his honor, I'm going to have to kick your ass. Well, uh, minivan just got lifted and sent to the shadow realm. I just barely tapped that car. It didn't cause no damage though, yeah. I think the jet already left. Oh, I barely hear right behind me. Yeah, there it is. Alright. Still smashed it. And that is C tier. And five more blueprints for the Jaguar E Type Lightweight. So we're 30 blueprints away from getting it basically maxed out. Okay, so let's hop out of there and hop back into the breakneck division, shall we? We shall? Wonderful. Fielden. I think I've driven against this person before. Ooh. Apparently, I'm not the only one that thought that uh, International Women's Day rap is very nice. Oh, this is going to be a good battle. I call this one the cat M4 cat fight. He's already gotten off to an early start. No! Ah, oh, man, I'm trying not to miss that nitro strip there. And then I missed that nitro strip too. Ah, oh, man. See, if I hadn't missed that second nitro strip, I may have been able to give him a run for his money. I mean, probably not considering his performance rating, but... You know what? Good on you. Good driving. I knew I was going to lose anyway, but you know, it was worth a shot. <laughs> it honestly was. It honestly was worth a shot, so I'm not disappointed. Not in the slightest. Alrighty, hopping into the campaign. Let's get some races in there at least. And uh, let's do some racing against Mary. I'm going to try to get... Actually, no. Let's go all the way down to Chris. I want to get... Try to get some blueprints for this Boss 302. Just so I can say that i gotten them. You know? Because at this point, I've been... You know, not that I'm trying to neglect the Boss 302. I'm not trying to. It's just that I right now I don't have too much use for it. And I want to make a use for it. That makes sense, you know? A uh, fantastic launch. In the Hennessy Venom F5. 
Now let's see what kind of race we'll have if we minimize the number of jumps we take. Jesus. I don't know what all that's all about, but ooh wee. Under 45 seconds. And that's when we minimize our hang time. Goodness gracious. Damn. I don't know about you, but that was quick. Let's go here. Lubricant. Doesn't help. It uh, doesn't hurt to get lubricant. I was about to say it doesn't help to get lubricant. No, it doesn't hurt to get lubricant. Of course, that's one of the many materials that got um, renamed and re um, redesigned. So it's kind of it's kind of awesome to see, to be honest with you, and it's kind of refreshing. Kind of, kind of sort. Of. Ooh, we. Let's see if we can improve on that time. Whoa! -ho! Oh my god, that's so much faster! Wow, a 41 second run! That was so much faster! A 41-43! Ladies and gentlemen, we did it! We literally completed the course in less than half the time that Chris completed the course because the 4143 if you double that that's a one minute 22.86 Chris completed in a one minute 23.94 we did it in less than half the time that is awesome what a and of course I get more lubricant. I was trying to get some money, man. That was fast. To say the least. That was royally quick. Goodness gracious. That was dummy quick. Of course, we still managed to hit a couple walls and such, but... Goodness gracious, that was fast. Managed to get perfect launches on all three attempts. I love it. That was actually slower than the last one. I, I made quite a few mistakes as far as the final few corners. But we still managed to do it. Still in under half the time. 
We did a 42-12. They did a, a doubling that. That's a 124-24. No. Yeah, that was a 124-24. And they did a 125-something. Damn, we are killing it. All right, so let's go ahead and hop out of there and grab the final free crate of the day before we hop back into some more campaign replayables and some more PVPs. And a calibrator, very nice. So that's the five free crates there. Now to hop out of there and back into here and hit campaign. So now that we did that, let's slide on over to the Renegades. Let's race against some Mary. Try to get some blueprints for this Falcon XB Coop. Or some more materials or cash. Ooh. Whoa! Whoa! Just under 26 seconds. I want to see if I can get one under 25 seconds. But I know I gotta be basically on point with my driving here. She managed to do a sub 26. Let's see if we can do a sub 25. Maybe if I get a better launch, that would help out too. Well, that's not gonna help. Still under 26. There's that little kink that caused me to lose out on that time that I was looking for. But we still managed to win it. And we got a blueprint for the XB at least. So for the Falcon XB. Alright, let's go for it again. Ah. Now we have a few we need. I was literally waiting to see if we have enough, but it just happened we had it just in time. Literally just in time. Here we go. That's the launch. That launch is gonna help. And that didn't help. Oh, 
just missed out on it. I felt I felt like that second to last ramp costed us that maybe tenth or two that we needed. Let's go back to the middle. Dang man, we was right there. But one good thing about it, we did get. We're now up to 901 gold, which means possibly tomorrow's Friday. Well, today's Friday, excuse me. That means possibly Saturday we can do Underground Insider. Maybe. 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 Maybe we'll episode 156, Underground Insider Day 1, possibly. No promises. But one thing I can guarantee, some more PVPs. And just in time, because I actually do need to get some more money. I need more money. I need more money. Ooh, now that is... Hey, nice, Black History Month rap. Okay. I dig it. Fantastic start. See if we can hold this. And I missed it again. And across the line. Not a new person the best, though. I feel like I might be able to get it if I don't try to go for that nitro strip that leads to the outside of the corner. Or if I do, I gotta cut in sharp. And that means possibly hitting that traffic car. So... I need to pick him and choose my battle with that one. We can experiment too if need be. That's a clean uh, looking M3. Body kiss kind of simple, but it's nice. Let's say simple but effective. Another really good run. Creed Walker. Okay. Ooh, another clean M3. Got the blue neon underneath the front. Alright, so let's test that theory that I mentioned earlier. I, I've tested a little bit, but I didn't get enough nitro in order to really benefit me.
Whoa, that helped. Though that was a little bit slower because I did miss out on the nitro strip. I cut in just a little bit too early to try and avoid the car because I didn't want to hit that traffic car. Next time, let's see if we could try to get closer, maybe even touch a little bit of that nitro in order to get some of the nitro we need in order to keep it rolling without trying to hit the traffic car, hopefully. That traffic car is placed in a bad spot. That's a clean M3. I, I like the I like the wrap on it. I like the wrap with the colors. It's very nice. That was fast. Airtime 350 seconds in the M3 coupe. Very nice. Very quick, too. Very quick. And a new personal best by five seconds. The victory. 5.05 .05 seconds. Alright, so let's see if we can get one more dub and we can wrap up the video here. Already an hour and a couple minutes in. So. Here we go. Ooh. I was going to say nice and then I saw the fitment and now I have to beat your ass. Here we go. Time to correct your fitment. Ooh. Really good launch for the both of us. Pretty early on your nitrous, sir. Really close to that wall. Now watch this, you're gonna gain on me. And I took off, cause I built up my nitrous. Yep. And that's the win. That's the win. Evenly matched cars as far as performance. Not so evenly matched drivers. And of course, changes in strategy too to help out. But the win is still the win and we shall move on. So ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all so much for joining. Tune in next time for episode 155. Like and subscribe for more content. Also for motorsports and gaming content. I'll leave links to different channels in the description. Ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all so much for joining. Much love, much appreciation. It's your boy, Warner Brother. Let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful... Toyota AE86 Trueno in the 50th update rep. It's your boy Warner Brother. Much love, much appreciation, and I'm out. Peace.